Okay, tomorrow's a big day. I am going in at five to have a tummy tuck and breast implant surgery. I've been wanting this for a really long time and I'm super excited about it. After I had three C-sections, my stomach is just not the same and I have some scar tissue that is causing me a lot of pain. So along with um, looking better and feeling better is definitely something that I'm excited about. So I'm a little nervous, but I can't wait for it tomorrow. Okay, yesterday I had surgery. It went really well. I was amazed at the of skin I took off. Recovery's been rough. Very rough, rougher than I thought. Um, I went pee the first time by myself without any help this morning. That was encouraging. Um, my breasts feel fine. I feel like I've done a bunch of sit-ups. My stomach, on the other hand, oh my gosh, it feels like everything is being squished and sucked in so tight you can't breathe. My ribs are on fire. Um, I haven't dared to look at it yet. So today is shower day. I'm excited to see what my stomach is looking like. So I'm pretty rough today though. Day two. Pain meds are kind of helping a little. Maybe the first hour after I take them. Ice is my best friend. Breasts aren't hurting that bad. My rib cage still hurts. It hurts when I stand up, move, cough. When the kids accidentally hit the bed. Um, I turn this around here. Enoch got me. Maybe I can't turn it around. Nope. Enoch got me a walker. And that has been awesome. Definitely, definitely helps with the lower back pain. Um, so I can get up and walk around more to help with the swelling in my legs. Um, I have to have all the compression stuff on and the compression socks to help so I don't get any blood clots. And the fluid from all the IV, man, it swelled me up bad with like the Michelin man. Um, that seems to be going down a little bit more today. And mm, just resting and sleeping a lot, super sore. Um, definitely up there with the C-section surgery. I'd almost say worse in a way because I don't have the baby to distract me. I'm just sitting here in pain, <laughs> but I know that the results are worth it. Um, for sure, a lot of work and healing and the mindset, the drains hurt. Drains hurt really bad. They're inserted right um, on top of the vaginal um, opening on either side, and I have to empty those quite often. They are um, clipped on here, and then I have to empty these out and keep track of how much fluid are in them to keep this one down away from the incision line. Holy crap. Today's Monday and I took my first shower. <laughs> um, definitely need two pinkles to do it. Going to need a nap. I am so worn out and tired. It was definitely a workout for sure. Um, starting to bruise today. It's been Friday. Sorry, three days out from surgery. Um, I'm excited about the results now though. I can actually stomach to look at my stomach. And I'm pretty excited. Um, only gets better from here, but it's definitely mental and physical repair surgery for sure. Okay, it is Thursday, and I have my one week appointment. I'm headed in. I'm guessing they might not take my drains out because I have a lot still draining and I'm thinking them quite often. Um, I think I might get my stitches out around my hips. Um, I'm, I'm super nervous about it. I've not been in the car since last Friday, so I'm a little hesitant about that. Um, it's 
definitely been a long recovery process and trying to keep myself mentally busy to ignore the pain and pressure from not being able to fully stand up. Um, so I will um, add to this video after my appointment and let you know how it goes. But um, so far so good. Uh, yesterday I was able to sit outside for like like almost three hours in a lawn chair. That was pretty nice. Get some sun and be outside different scenery. Was able to stay awake a lot longer. Um, having a little bit more energy. Um, was able to stand enough to put some dishes in the top dishwasher um, drawer yesterday as well. And I made myself some breakfast. So that part is good. good. I'm so exhausted. <gasps> and it really takes a toll on your body for sure. I'm just making sure right now I'm doing lots of resting, drinking as much fluid as I possibly can. Um, it's been helping me get up to go to the bathroom, so I'm actually walking and not laying in bed for as long periods of time. Um, so yeah, that's uh, my update for today. Hey, so yesterday I had my one week appointment and um, I had a lot of anxiety about that appointment because I thought that they were going to take the drains out or stitches out and it was going to be really bad and hurt. But um, they did not. They left it all in. And I go back in 8 to 14 days depending on when my drain amount um, slows down. Um, they did take off all the gauze and Vaseline that I was doing and changing up twice a day. So now I have to still wear the towel, the spanks, and the binder. But... Um, when I wash twice a day, I just use the dial soap and the stuff called Theroscar to help um, heal the incision. Um, it's been 24 hours now and I am starting to deal with discomfort because now without the gauze and Vaseline, the scar is starting to dry up some and it's causing it to rub a little bit. I did call back up and oh my gosh, I love the ladies at the front desk. They're awesome with answering all my questions. And they um, said I could put a little bit of Vaseline on those areas that seem to be tender and rubbing. And that will help with a little bit more of the discomfort. Um, trying to think what else. Oh, today I, um, yesterday I started doing the massages on the breast implants to make sure that they um, don't sit and um, capsulate. So um, we started that and that seems to be giving me a little bit of bruising, but just icing it. Overall, so far, today is when we got from surgery, and oh, there was a couple times I was questioning my choice to do it, but I'm, I'm getting more and more excited as I'm seeing my body heal and it's feeling a little bit better. Um, I still have to remember that my muscles are, are gluing and adhering together internally, and I can't see that, but it's extremely important for me not to twist or turn around in my body. So I'm trying to be patient with myself and allow myself to not like. Like the doctor was telling me yesterday, you don't want to spend this much money investing on yourself to bend down and try to pick something up and undo everything and have to have another repair surgery to fix it by splitting open that belly button or tearing any incisions internally. Um, so just trying to be patient with myself and relax still and rest and heal. But um, yeah, so that is what I am at now for my one week update for the tummy tuck and breast implants.